Hi, welcome to the BYU Museum of Art. My name is Jana Lee Emmer, and I am excited to talk to you about a piece of art that is in one of the exhibitions that we have up at the museum right now. I'm standing in the final room of Far Out the West Racine Photography of Victoria Sambuneris. And in this room, we worked with the artist to put together pieces from our collection that have similar themes, that are looking at uh, similar things that she is in her photography, such as our relationship to the land and modern technology and industry and how we're dependent on the land, how we use it, how it changes over time. So behind me, what I've selected to talk about is this particular painting by an artist whose name is Francis Horsepool. And Francis Horsepool was the son of a British immigrant from, uh, from England who had come over and his father settled the family in Ogden. So Francis was born in Ogden and his father worked as a, um, on a, on a stage company and then later on a railroad, which were things that Francis picked up as well. So he followed in his father's footsteps initially and he worked on railroads. He also worked on, as a firefighter, later as a civil engineer, and then eventually as a draftsman. And it's as a draftsman when he begins to draw that he becomes interested in the arts. And this is later in his life, so he's about in his 50s when he turns to the arts really more seriously and begins to paint um, as his hobby and passion, and um, really it takes up all of his time. This particular work that we're looking at was painted in 1939. It's called Castlegate, Utah. And if you're familiar with Castlegate, this is an area that is about 90 miles um, southeast of Salt Lake. It's in Carbon County. And it became a really important town because of its coal mine. So it, there were two things that really made it important. One, the railroad that came to this town. When the Rio and Denver Western Railroad came through this town, it enabled a lot more um, transport, and particularly for the coal mines. There were several coal mines in the town. So this particular image looks at the, this mountainous um, castle gate, which is how the city got, says, got its name. So if you come in closely, you can kind of see that there are these really majestic big walls of rock, and they're on either side of a river, the Price River that kind of comes through. And just to the side of that, you see the railroad that kind of comes around and hugs across the rock. And as someone who worked on railroads, it's not surprising that Horsepool was interested in this particular location where you see the majesty of the landscape, these kind of red rocks soaring up, and also what the, the kind of industry and difficulty that it would have taken to make a railroad like this um, that enabled coal to be transported, and it was this coal that was used in steam engine railroads. So they're all kind of tied together. Horsepool was what is called a self-taught artist. Um, he learned on his own. He was kind of outside of the traditional schools of art. He didn't go to any formal training, and he preferred that. He thought his style of art was more authentic. It feels um, a little innocent, um, it's just coming straight from his perspective, his soul, one might say. And so you, you see that sense of simplicity when you look um, at this particular artwork. Um, he also is known for, as you see when you look at this work, that he fuses the canvas with the frame. And it makes this, you have the sense of the work extending off onto the frame, even into the walls of the gallery. I love it in this gallery here, and I think it works so well even with the colors of the walls. It feels like um, it's connecting in some way to us. And 
This, this work is very similar in some ways to a work that Victoria Sambuneras photographed much more recently. In her version, instead of seeing the railroad coming around or the tracks of the railroad, we see that that today has been replaced because Castlegate is now a ghost town. We don't have the same um, reliance. It was The mines were closed many years ago. And so now, we, the way that Sam Buneris photographed it, we see a big interstate coming through this, this um, same area and a semi-truck clearly still delivering products that we need in different places. So we are still reliant on this kind of industry and, and products that we need, but they transform over time. So part of that, you see what was done in the 1930s, and then hopefully if you are able, if you're local, are able to come um, to the museum, you can see Sam Buneris's impressive large photograph of this similar scene. So thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, we hope to see you at the museum in the future.